Hey guys, Jane Zero. How you doing? Um, I want to talk a little bit about uh, making power on days like today. I don't know if you can see or not, but we're uh, we've got about five inches of snow or so on the ground, um, which means that <clears throat> all my solar panels have got about five inches of snow on them right now. Uh, the ones that are up on the roof. I'm just not going to, well, we all know how graceful I am, and I'm not getting up in the middle of a windy snowstorm on the roof to knock uh, snow off the solar panels, uh, which I'm going to deal with that in a different way whenever I start redoing my solar system here in the springtime. Anyway, I'm still making power. Uh, I don't know if you can hear it or not, but my wind turbine that I got from Missouri Wind and Solar, uh, Jeff over there, thank you very much, Jeff. I love this thing. Uh, is making power on days like today when you can see there's a panel right there How much snow is on it a couple inches of snow on top of the panel that panel's not making any power and there's no Sun out today Anyway, I realize some of the better panels will still make a little bit of power uh, Just from whatever UV rays can get down in but it's not making power like that thing there is making power today um, And that's what my wind turbine uh, in my system is for does it make enough power for me to um, have as much power, you know, like what the solar panels make? No. As you can see, it comes in bursts and spurts with the wind. But that's what my wind turbine is here for. It's to supplement any kind of power loss that I'm having today uh, from not having any sun. So every time that wind turbine starts spinning, it's putting juice into the batteries. Uh, and that's why I love it. And I think that uh, as soon as I am able to and I have the resources I may try to get another wind turbine see there we go again putting more juice in the batteries I may try to get another one of these just because I love the fact that it's putting you know days like today when you can't get any power from the Sun the wind turbine makes power for you it doesn't make you know as much as the panels would just from the one wind turbine that when there's a 600 watt uh, maximum output days like today whenever it's spinning right now uh, I'm not getting 600 watts man the snow's going crazy it's cold but that's uh it's making power and i would love to have another one uh speaking of which jeff over at missouri wind and solar is having another contest where he's giving away a solar panel and three wind turbines so go over there uh, and enter the contest and and try to try to win yourself one of these because i love mine i'm not going to enter the contest simply because i already have a wind turbine that jeff sent to me and uh, I would like for other people to win these turbines uh, other than myself so that they can have uh, the same kind of reliable power uh, that I do with my wind turbine. Um, that's what they're for, days like today when there's no sun. Uh, and like I say, as soon as I get the resources together, I'm probably going to get another wind turbine and get it put up out here as well. That way I got even more power going into my battery bank uh, like I do on days like today, uh, simply because we're using the power that we generate. Uh, we're, we got stuff plugged into the inverter. Uh, and we're using it so and that just sounds like money to me that sounds like cha-ching that sounds like uh, uh, it's a beautiful sound and speaking of sound I've had some questions on how loud is it it's loud when you're standing out here right underneath it but we can't hear it at all when we're inside our house um, you can't you can't hear it even whenever you're just on the other side of the yard over there you can't really hear it whenever it's wound up and spinning it doesn't make a lot of power or it doesn't make a lot of noise while it's making a lot of power so yeah the missouri wind and solar i believe that one's a 600 watt raptor i believe is what they call it uh definitely definitely would recommend it if you have a solar system uh, and a battery bank to where you put uh, power and you store power and you make your own power i would definitely recommend uh, a wind turbine as an addition to your system simply because on days like today whenever there's no power being made by the sun and your solar panels you still get some power supplemented into your battery bank uh, from the wind so Big thumbs up to Missouri Wind and Solar. I don't care what anybody says about them. I have had nothing but good experiences with them. Jeff is a good dude. It's a good company. They always get back to you, and they're easy to talk to, and they're customer-oriented. I know there's been a lot of comments on my turbine, you know, Missouri Wind and Solar, blah, 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 whatever. Or, you know, oh, that tower's going to fall down. Well, this thing's been through 80-mile-an-hour wind, and it ain't come down yet. And anything more than 80 or 90-mile-an-hour is going to cause damage to anything, let alone just a turbine. So, I'm happy. It's a good day it's a good day making power even though it's cold and snowy and so uh i just wanted to share that with you guys a little bit of the view of the hills behind me gorgeous i love the way the snow looks on the hills so anyway guys 
Uh, thanks for watching. Go over and, uh, to Missouri Wind and Solar's channel. I'll leave a link in the about section or try to put one in somewhere. You know, annotated it somewhere in the, uh, in the video. And uh, try to win yourself a turbine. It's, it's well worth it. So, have a great day. God bless. Stay warm. The end. Buzz, buzz. The end.